Do you remember wheat ears? Now, I know that might sound like a fatuous question to some of you, but to others it won't because you won't be able to remember wheat ears. I remember them, I remember them here. This is Stony Cross Airfield in the New Forest and as a kid my parents would bring me out here bird watching and I probably, probably saw my first ever wheat ear in this spot. And then as a teenager I'd come back here and we'd look for their nest and they nested in a drain that ran down the side of this old Second World War airfield. And you'd lift out the bricks and peer down and there in these lovely little grassy cups there'd be, you know, six or so pale blue eggs. They looked incredibly valuable. And then when they hatched you'd come back and you'd see the wheat ears feeding their young. And then a bit long, uh, later in life I'd come out and on every Saturday morning look at these wheat ears time passed on and at some stage in the mid-90s I said to a mate, I'll tell you what, it's a nice sunny, sunny day, let's go to Stony Cross and see the wheat ears. And he looked at me blankly and he said, they've gone, they've gone mate, the wheat ears have gone. And I suppose it really hit home then that in my lifetime, in my short birding lifetime, we were seeing very real changes in our bird populations and of course wheat ears are only one of a suite of our sub-Saharan migrants, which are showing what I would describe as catastrophic declines. They've become very symbolic, little totems, if you like, of the fact that we are exacting a quite a profound influence on, on the environment. Because basically, wheat ears aren't making it. They're not making it back here. And there's got to be a reason for this. You know, I mean, in terms of habitat, this is perfect for them. They need short sward, short grazed grass. They like rabbit-chewed areas. Um, so that they can access their insect food. Um, but it's, you know, that's still here. There's still a few rabbits and the ponies are doing the business. The drains are still over there. I just looked into one. So what's going on with wheat here? They do continue to nest in the UK, although not here in the New Forest. Um, so it could be something to do with their migration. You know, are they facing different problems en route? Or is it their final wintering destination where situations are changing? Could even be climate change could even be that the part of Africa that they go to is not as dry or is not as wet or is not right in some way. But of course until we are able to elucidate what that is, it's going to be very difficult for us to conserve them. We've got to have data, you've got to have information, you've got to have understanding, good, solid, ecological understanding of the species. And Out of Africa is all about that. It's about training people on the ground to see these birds in a different way, see them in detail. It's about bringing out their curiosity and giving them the means to make good quality, repeated recordings to get good old BTO style data. Stuff that you can't argue with when it comes to the court of conscience. And that's what it's about because we've got to bring these birds into the core of our conscience and do something about it. And it would be a shame if, you know, it wasn't only Stony Cross that was Stony Broke when it came to wheat ears, but every last corner of the UK. So if there's anything that you can do to help this campaign, then do it. It'd be nice to see a wheat ear.